Okay, in our browser, in the search engine, you just have to search OBS Studio. Then, we will be directed to their website and let us just have a quick browse or glimpse on their features. So, you can read that one. And here, we will select on the OBS Studio for Windows. And... As you see down below, the OBS Studio app is already starting to download. Now, we will just wait for it to be fully downloaded in our laptop. And downloading this app requires patience especially if you have unstable internet connection since it's a heavy file so you will wait for quite some time. Okay, so down below, if you're going to scroll down, um, you can read there all about OBS Studio, their um, features. Okay. Now, it is almost ready. It's almost done. So, we will just wait for a little bit. And what we will do next is click on the arrow down button and click on open okay in the desktop you will have there the pop-up window for the OBS studio and then just click next you will have or you wanted to read the terms and conditions then you have to click on browse as to where or what file destination you wanted to install the software then just click OK and click Next. And the wait for it to be installed in your computer or laptop. So once the setup is already done, then click Finish. Okay, then after finish, the OBS Studio will automatically open and a pop-up window will appear and you will choose or select as to the option either you will use this for streaming or for recording or you will be using it for virtual camera and for this tutorial we will use just for recording and click next Of course, you will have to specify the video settings you would like to use. So for this, we will not change it. So we will be using the default. And after that, click Next. And click on Apply Settings. Of course, what you will do is just to explore more of its features. So if you can see in the bottom part, we don't have any sources yet. So we will just right click then click add and in the options, we will select on display capture since we will be recording our screen, laptop screen or computer screen. Then just have to create the file name. For example, um, we have sample recording then click OK so another pop-up window and we will select on automatic for the capture method and for the display we will use the default setting and click OK now our laptop screen or computer screen will look like this And in the bottom right corner, you have there the options. So we have start streaming, start recording, but of course, we will click on settings. Then in the left side of the pop-up window, there are the menus as to the general, stream, output, audio, video, and also hotkeys and advanced. Now click on output. For output, Output mode, you will click on advanced and here in the recording, 
you will click on the standard then select on the recording path so you just have to browse on your computer as to what path you wanted to save your output next is the recording format so there are options there you just have to select so for this since it's um, recording screen recording we will select mp4 so for the audio you will select on the desktop audio as to what will be the source of your audio so for this tutorial i will use crisp since i wanted to have the noise counseling input by the way if you wanted to avail the noise counseling app or noise counseling feature in your laptop so just click on the link in the description box down below for the tutorial then if you're done with the setup then click on save changes now this is how our screen would look like and then it will now start recording so let us try to minimize the window for us to see how it works okay so if you can see here i already have the browser and we will just try to search on tutorial so we have here the dictionary its meaning tutorial relating to a tutor or tutor's instruction so we will just close it and then go back to the obs and then we will click on stop okay so if you noticed my last word was already cut since i already clicked the stop recording button in the obs and so i guess that's all for this session thank you for watching